All right, today we're gonna learn about something new probably to you. I don't think you had this in third grade, so I would pay attention, take notes if you need to. Okay, let's say, well, first let's review what a fraction is. A fraction is parts over parts in the whole. So for example, so if we had this pie here, and we cut it into eight equal parts. Okay, and let's say um, little Mikey ate one, two, three of the parts. Okay, so three would be your numerator. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are parts in the whole pie, in the whole pie, parts in the whole. So the fraction shaded would be three parts out of eight. Okay, that's just a little review about what fractions are. So then we have this fraction over here. So let's look at this one. Now I'm gonna shade in some of the parts. So I'm gonna shade in this part, this part, this part, and this part. I'm gonna shade in this part, this part, this part, this part, and I'm gonna shade in this part. Okay. Now, you might look at this and some of you might notice that we don't have a fraction here anymore, do we? Because we have two holes, don't we? We have one, two holes. So we have whole numbers, we have whole numbers and a fraction. So whole numbers and a fraction all together. Well, we call that a special term. In fourth grade, we call that a mixed number. So this year we get stuff like this, which is a mixed number. So you have to recognize that this is one whole, this is one whole, and this is a fraction. So we have four out of four here, right? Four is shaded out of four. And you would agree that's one whole, right? That's one whole pie. So then over here, we have another four out of four shaded. So that's another hole. That's two holes. Now we have two holes. And now we have one shaded out of four. Well, if I combine that together, if I put all these together, what you have is you have a mixed number. So I have one whole, that equals one whole, that equals one whole. So I have two holes and I still have a fourth of a pie. So I have two and one fourth. Okay, that's called a mixed number. That's called a mixed number. Now, there's another way you can write this, okay? And this is called uh, an improper fraction. Okay, so uh, a proper fraction would be something like this where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. An improper fraction means the numerator is larger than the denominator. Okay, let's see how that would look. How do we get a numerator larger than the denominator? Well, this is our sample right here. This right here is our sample. Okay, so, what you would do is you would find the parts. Again, you're doing parts over parts in the whole. 
So let's count the parts in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts. Do you agree there's nine parts shaded? There's nine parts shaded. You agree? Yeah, there is. There's nine parts shaded. So it'd be nine. Now, think about this. This is where it gets a little tricky. So think about this. Parts in the whole. Parts in the whole. So nine parts are shaded, but how many parts are in the whole? Look at this example. How many parts in the whole? I tell you what, if you said 12, that's wrong. There's not 12 parts in a whole. And I can prove it to you. This is a whole pie, right? How many parts are in this whole? One, two, three, four. There's only four parts in that whole. So your fraction would be nine, nine parts. Remember, parts over parts in the whole. Nine parts are shaded, and a whole is only four. So it would be nine over four. So that would be the same as saying two and a fourth equals nine over four. Okay, so go back and think about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine parts are shaded out of one, two, three, four. That's a whole. Not this whole thing. This is actually two holes and a fourth, isn't it? So be careful about that when you're finding, and that's called an improper fraction. This one is an improper fraction. This one is a mixed number right here. It has a whole number and a fraction together, okay? And I'll show you how to change those from a, a mixed number to an improper fraction and an improper fraction to a mixed number. All right, class, so this is how you change a mixed number and I'm gonna change it into an improper fraction. So this is what you do first. You multiply these two numbers together. So you multiply four times two is eight, and then you add this numerator. You add the numerator. So two times four, or four times two, you multiply these two, the denominator and the whole number together, and then you're gonna take that number and you're gonna add to it, you're gonna add to it the numerator. So four times two is eight, plus one is nine. Denominator stays the same. So the denominator is gonna stay the same, okay? So look at that, nine fourths, nine fourths. That's the, that's the improper fraction that we had before, okay? So let's look at that again. You're gonna multiply these two numbers and then you're gonna add to it the numerator. So two and four, one fourth, becomes nine and, or nine, nine fourths, okay? Because the denominator always stays the same, okay? So that's how you change, and, and we'll, we'll come over here and we'll do another one of those, okay? So let's say you had five and three fourths. Again, if you want to change it into from a mixed number into an improper fraction, okay, we're going to multiply 
you're going to multiply here. 4 times 5 is 20. And then you're simply going to add the 3. So you get 23 as the numerator. Denominator stays the same. And 5 and 3 fourths becomes 23 fourths. Okay, so that's how you change from a mixed number and we change it into an improper fraction. That's the improper fraction. That was the mixed number. Okay? All right, class. Now, you just learned how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction. And how do you change it back? So we do the exact opposite. Instead of multiplying and adding, we divide and subtract. So how many times does four go into nine? Well, if you don't know, skip count. Four, eight, so it goes in two times. So that becomes your whole number. So it goes in two times. Four goes into nine, four, and then eight, and you can't go over. So it goes in two times, and then you say, how many is my leftover? Well, nine minus eight, if I have nine, and I subtract eight out of it, how much do I have left? I have one leftover, that becomes my numerator, and then denominator stays the same. So I am back to my two and one fourth. I'm back to my mixed number again. So you start with you start with this. How many times does this go into this number? So I skip counted over here. I went four, eight. So I went, it goes in two times. It goes in two times, and then when it goes in two times, you subtract out the eight. So nine minus eight is one. That's why I'm getting that one. I did it over here. Okay, so you subtract out that eight. You have one left over. Denominator always stays the same, and that is four. And that's how you convert back from an improper fraction, and you change it back into that mixed number, okay? So this time you divide first, and then you subtract. So notice when we changed, when we went from this to this, we did, we did what? We multiplied and added, didn't we? So now to change it back, we do the exact opposite. We divide and subtract. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do another one. So I'll do another one over here. Okay, so let's come up with another one. Uh, let's just make one up. Let's go, let's go 11 thirds. 11 thirds. Okay, we're going to change that into a mixed number. So right now, right now it's an improper fraction, isn't it? So that's an improper fraction. Okay, 11 thirds. We're going to change that into a mixed number. So how many times does 3 go into 11? Well, come over here and let's skip count. 3, 6, 9, 12. Well, 12 is too much, right? We can't go over that number. So let me cross out the 12. So it goes in one, two, three times. So three is my whole number. Three is my whole number. Now, if I take nine out of 11, how much do I have left? So if I had 11 and I take nine out of it, well, yeah, I only have two left, right? So my top number is two, denominator stays the same. Yeah, I love doing the denominator all the time because the denominator stays the same all the time. 
So nobody should ever get the denominator wrong because it doesn't change. It just stays exactly what it is. So it's three and two thirds. Now, how can you check yourself? You just do the exact opposite. You multiply and add. Look at this. Three times three is nine plus two is 11. Denominator stays the same. So I just checked my answer and it's right because they both equal. Okay, so this is the improper fraction. This is the mixed number. Okay, so now you know how to convert and change from an improper fraction to a mixed number and then from a mixed number back into an improper fraction. All right, have a good day of learning, guys. Bye.